It is expected that a cold air flow from Eastern Europe will bring a new disturbance towards the end of the week. A cold air mass will first move over Germany and France, then it will travel over northern Italy and reach the western Mediterranean starting Friday, February 7th. This system will trigger the development of a cyclonic system, which will cause a wave of bad weather to spread over the weekend, with a significant drop in temperatures across the north and in regions overlooking the upper Tyrrhenian Sea. The most intense phase of cooling will occur on Saturday, February 8th, where snow could appear even at very low altitudes in the inland areas of Liguria, Piedmont, and Valle d'Aosta. However, in other parts of the country, despite the significant drop in temperatures, the snow level will not drop below 1,300 meters, which will limit the impact. The cold air flow from the east will continue. The eastern gate will remain active in the following days, potentially throughout the second half of February. It is not yet confirmed whether this pattern will lead to a true cold wave capable of bringing snow to the plains or along the coasts, but it is certain that the winter climate will remain strong, especially during the nighttime hours, when temperatures could drop significantly. Throughout the next week, cold weather will dominate the Italian weather scene. Minimum temperatures will drop below freezing, especially in inland areas and under clear skies, while maximum temperatures may struggle to exceed 12 to 13 degrees Celsius even on the sunniest days. Looking ahead, just after Valentine's Day, colder scenarios may emerge, but to be certain of this development, it will be necessary to wait for the next weather updates. For the first time this winter, weather models are predicting a sudden stratospheric warming event, known as stratospheric warming, expected to occur in mid-February. This phenomenon may lead to significant changes in the atmosphere, endangering the stability of the polar vortex and paving the way for a possible influx of cold Siberian air into certain areas of the planet. Climatologists are carefully analyzing the situation because an unstable polar vortex could facilitate the descent of cold air towards the mid-latitudes, significantly affecting weather in Europe. After weeks of resistance, the latest models suggest a gradual weakening of the vortex, and these details could also have a big impact. The polar vortex is a large area of low pressure located over the Arctic, characterized by extremely cold temperatures and strong winds swirling around the North Pole. Its compact structure typically keeps the cold air confined to northern regions, preventing it from spreading to lower latitudes. If the vortex weakens or distorts, cold air can escape from its usual path and reach more temperate regions. In more extreme cases, the polar vortex split can occur, where the vortex splits into multiple distinct centers. This scenario could lead to cold waves affecting areas such as Western Europe, the United States, or Asia. The weakening of the polar vortex is often linked to the spread of atmospheric waves that transfer energy from the troposphere to the stratosphere. These waves can arise from multiple factors, including wind interactions with large mountain ranges, thermal differences between oceans and continents, and tropical phenomena such as the Madden-Julian Oscillation, MJO. If these oscillations are strong enough, they could lead to the warming of the stratosphere, capable of deeply altering the global atmospheric balance. The presence of an anti-cyclone over the Scandinavian countries and low pressure between Greenland and the Atlantic Ocean would also lead to further instability, with direct consequences for Europe's climate. An example of this occurred in February 2018, when a sudden disruption of the polar vortex led to a violent cold wave across many parts of Europe. Although the models did not predict 